Hey, it's Lanky Gamer, it's Mick Wood, and tonight we're looking at my um, social media journey. I'm not sure if it's number five or six, depends on which order I post them in. However, what I'm going to do, uh, last week, last time I did a, a session on uh, social media in general terms, where I mentioned there were five channels for social media and 15 streams feeding into these channels. Uh, and in my next video, I'm going to be looking at social networking. Before I do that, I'm going to just look at the pros and cons of social media in general. Social media is an amazing opportunity to put yourself out there, out there in the internet world, and uh, show people how good you can be, how positive you are, what a nice person you might be. It's a great opportunity just to be you. I'm not pretending to be anybody, just me. I've been growing a beard in lockdown, I've not shaved it off in pretending to I need to look like a film star or anything because I know that's a waste of time. I'm just going to be me. People will either like me or they won't. And social media is a great opportunity to try and build friendships, uh, virtual friendships in many cases from people all over the world. But it's a wonderful opportunity. You can connect with people who are like-minded uh, and people who have got on the face of it no real connections but they just like you because something about you people just gel the next uh, thing that you can do with social media is you can look up old friends and explain what i mean when we were growing up uh, when we had a young family rather we had a friend who sadly died she had two children who we lost touch with um, and I tried for over a year to find them on the internet. They'd got married, their names had changed, I didn't know where they lived. Uh, and I managed to track them down. And when we, we met up with them after a number of years, what a joy that was. Social media helps us to do that. Um, social media allows you to try and create a fan base. Your followers are your fans, or else they won't be following you. You can sort of try and make a name for yourself if... Uh, that's what you want to do. Um, one of the things I really love about social media is the fact that you can help people raise money. For example, I've got a friend who's got some quite serious health issues, but despite that, she constantly trying to raise money for other people, and I'm more than happy to support her um, and help her raise money. Um, when natural disasters happen, they're usually big fundraising campaigns to try and help. And social media is fantastic for that. Uh, another useful thing you can do is helping people. Um, if you're reading a post, a blog, Instagram, and somebody's got a problem, you've got an opportunity to, to help them. In my sphere, which is board gaming, people often put two pictures of something and say, which one do you prefer? They're trying to design something for their game, and they've reached a an impasse on something like that and so it it helps you to uh, to bring people together it helps in, the social media brings people together who are interested in the same thing i've met some amazing friends all over the world because i'm into board games and board game design and i've been asked to to help people with their designs if we hit a problem and i've managed to help them solve it do videos of board games rough and ready reviews uh, and people are more than happy that I do that because, generally speaking, they're positive reviews. And in a sense, it's like educating people. If you show a game how to play it, and people can see you playing it, then they don't have to read the rules, they can just watch your video, and things like that. Next thing I want to think about is um, instance. Instance. What I mean by that is that, uh, for example, just, just the other day we've had a problem with... British gas, in the past you'd have to phone up uh, or wait for days. And what I simply did was send a message via Twitter to the British gas account and within just a few short minutes it was resolved. Um, if I need to talk to somebody, I can message them uh, knowing that at some point in the near future they will uh, read that message and respond. So I love the fact that I don't have to mail something and wait days for it to be delivered and then wait for days for the people to send it back. So that's great. I love that, the, the instance. 
instant messaging is, is, is a great example. I love the fact that I can go on to um, you know, do live streams or Zoom and things like that where I can talk to people in real time anywhere in the world. I've got friends in New Zealand and the quality of the broadcast is amazing. When I'm talking to them, it's like I'm talking to someone in the same room. It's instant, there's no lag. It's, it's just amazing. I'm sure you've realised by now, and you probably have your own uh, answers and ideas about the benefits of social media. I just thought I'd finish with a couple of others. I can express my opinion on anything, uh, particularly in a non-violent way. I can just share my thoughts, my views. You don't have to agree with them. You might fundamentally disagree with them. But I can do that without any problems. I love the convenience as well. If I want to, like I've posted a video now, I don't have to send it to anybody. You either watch it or you, you stumble across it, but it's already now out there. Convenient. And having shot this video, I can post it to multiple uh, social media channels or streams like Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. So many benefits to social media. I also love the fact that now, uh, instead of looking at things like uh, board games specifically as a, as a topic, and there's over 100,000 different board games out there, there are now sites where have drilled right now to specific games. So if I'm particularly interested in a game, uh, there's a genre called 18xx, and there are uh, specific channels just dedicated to that game. And so it's just amazing. You can find out anything on the internet, Googling, uh, in social media as well. So the second part of this video is cons of social media. Bad stuff. For example, posting inappropriate messages, content. And what's inappropriate for one person might be inappropriate for somebody else. But if I put something online that's inappropriate to say the general public at some future point in time, it might come back to haunt me. There's been numerous politicians and celebrities who've said and done things online that they wish they hadn't. It's cost them a lot of money because they've lost sponsorship deals and things like that. So that's the con of social media. You need to be careful what you say and what you do because once you've done it, it's out there for all to see. It's possible to make people feel bad about themselves, I think they call them trolls, where people just pick on people for no good reason, it's almost like a sport. I hate people like that. I really do. And there should be a law against it. Uh, it's almost, I think, I don't know if it's the same thing as cyberbullying, but it's it's similar. And people read some horror, horror stories where people have taken their own life, young youngsters, teenagers and so on, because of just being bullied. People get hacked as well, so that you get messages from people who are pretending to be one of your friends, but actually they're not, they're just hacked. So that's one of the cons. And then false rumours, not mentioning any names, but um, a lot of fake news out there. And the BBC have got a great service now where they do fact checking, and I've seen it on Twitter as well. Just a few more cons unsavoury things I would say people stalking online stalkers taking over their accounts um, but the one that's the most sinister I would say is grooming people target young usually young girls but it can be young boys as well pretending to be uh, similar ages and so on arranging to meet and then doing shocking things um, and the problem is you see that some of the uh, social media channels don't actually check who you are you just need an email account generally speaking they don't check your age they don't check your name and address or anything and it's the easiest thing in the world to set up an email account so we need to be careful we need to if we've got children we need to make sure we look make check up on their children for their own safety and uh, social media is an amazing thing but like all things uh, it can be used for bad